Hey everyone, we're going to begin watching the trailer and then I'll go over a little bit about it and what I think about it. I've played the Skaven and they're really cool, but I haven't actually watched the in-engine trailer. This here is new to me as well. So let's go ahead and play that. Yeah, let's check it out. Alcohol, where? cool it was actually a very cool trailer I really enjoyed it. I don't have any complaints about it best way to probably introduce the Skaven at all so first off in the very beginning what you're seeing is just the insanity that are the Skaven they want to bring down more Slieb to the planet they're absolutely insane they want all that warp stone they crave it and if they do that the world will end I mean that's a huge plot point in the end times and everything else and if you look at it right now there are Skaven all over the world. That isn't a joke. There are various clans. One of the more notable lords that we saw fighting the Dark Elves later on who killed that Dark Elven leader, that is Warlord Queek Headtaker. And he's a legendary lord of the clan Moors. And that guy is no joke. So if you look at what they have here, they have an incredible array of units. Not only that, they just have an unethical way of developing those units. They will stitch together. They will experiment. Imagine any type of unethical medical group during World War II. These guys amp it up to 10, and that is what the Skaven are. They are a, a steampunk, a Game of Thrones on crack type of faction. I mean, they're constantly plotting. There's constant intrigue. If you think the Dark Elves have intrigue, the Skaven, well, they care nothing about life at all. So they cranked it up for sure. So this has all been very cool. But what's cool too is that not only are they overwhelming every other faction on the planet, because again, if like every Skaven clan united, they would overrun the entire world. It would be no joke at all. And that is really how that works. The only reason why they haven't done so as of yet is because they cannot unite. They cannot see eye to eye. So one always wants to get the upper hand. But these factions are standing strong against them. And you can see how cool they are. The Lizard Man, the Dark Elves. And they all just look incredibly good. And of course, you know, the High Elves have got to die. They're pretty much the Empire equivalent in the trailers for the new game. And I want you to watch this real quick again. What's happening here? There's an interaction between the two giant units. And that's the thing that I'll talk more about tomorrow. Something incredibly fucking cool. Imagine Godzilla-like fights, all right? That's all I'm going to say. And that's how it goes. So that's what you have to look forward to. Over here, you have a doom will that you're about to see, which is a literal will. Inside of it are a bunch of rats running like in a rat will to make it go. And it has a gun in the front of it. It constantly has to move. The Skaven are manic creatures. They're constantly moving. They're constantly having to eat food. And yeah, so there's a lot more that I want to talk about. 
but I just wanted to kind of like base off of the trailer, give my reactions to it, let you know what I think about it. And dude, you guys know me. If you know my channel, you know I don't get hype. You know I don't go, oh, the game's good just because it was made. I've played the fucking game. It's fucking amazing. I had no idea what to expect. I was like, man, will it be a lot like Warhammer 1 where it feels like Warhammer but not quite there? No, they've really learned how to make a Warhammer-based game, which I've learned too in the Norska DLC, which is incredibly fleshed out, has a lot of content, and the content that I like to see, I don't really care as much for those um, type of like mini campaigns they were adding, but when they added in like the Monster Hunt and all of that, fucking sweet. And so you you guys are just really in for a huge treat, and I'm going to be talking about it tomorrow. Just, again, if there's like any questions that you want me to answer, I'll show gameplay footage tomorrow and two quest battles. So you'll be seeing the campaign as well. And that's my news for you. Anyway, thank you for watching. Look forward to, for more content. And as always, until then.